That's not going to work, is it? This is three phase. I've only got a single phase in here. I'm going to need to make a rotary converter. So what is all this three phase, single phase stuff? Here in the UK we have two main flavours of electricity. The domestic single phase, which just means one live, and the industrial three phase, which just means three lives. A phase it just means live. A rotary converter is just a machine that allows you to take your single phase 230 volt supply and create a three phase 415 volt supply. You can take your single phase supply, connect it up to a three phase multi voltage induction motor, get the motor started on the single phase, and then it will generate the missing phases. So that's starting to look remarkably like a little workshop trolley. I'm trying to solve two problems at once here. If I'm using a machine, I'm going to need the three-phase power by the machine. And I'm also going to need a little workbench for putting parts and tools and things on. But I haven't got space for individual workbenches next to every machine. So by incorporating the rotary converter into a little mobile trolley, I can get a workbench and the three-phase power where I need it, when I need it, without taking up excessive space in the workshop.
Okay, so I've decided that I want a little control panel on the outside of the enclosure. I'm just going to go through what the pieces are for. When the rotary converter is plugged into the single phase supply, this display here will show the single phase voltage and the single phase current. When I want to start the rotary converter, I'll switch this switch from the off position that it's currently in to the on position, and then this orange light will come on. That tells me that the control gear inside the enclosure has put the motor into what's known as the delta configuration. After about a second, the control gear switches over to what's known as star, and the green light will come on and the orange light will go off. Now, if for some reason there's a, an overcurrent situation, then neither of these lights will be on and the red light will come on to tell me that there's a fault. Once the system's running, i.e. the green light is on, these three displays here will show a voltage and current value for each of the three individual phases. So they should be somewhere around 415, 430-ish volts, and this one should be somewhere around about 230, 240 volts. Right, so when the rotary converter is running, it should only be pulling about 3 or 4 amps off of the um, single phase supply. But on startup, it's going to pull around about 50 or 60 amps for maybe a second. So rather than using the standard 13 amp plug, um, I'm going to use one of these 16 amp plugs so that I'm not blowing fuses all the time every time I switch it on. situation where you have to make a set of hinges like this, make one of the pins a little bit longer. You'll notice this one is a little bit longer than this one. That's so when you're putting them in, this one goes in first and then this one follows. If you make them the same length, then you've got to line up both of them at the same time. This way, I can line up one and then I can line up the other. It makes fitting the door a lot easier. OK, 
Okay, so I thought I'd just give you a quick run through of how the panel actually works. Got the single phase supply coming in up here, which goes through a couple of circuit breakers just to protect the wiring. When the converter's switched on, these three contactors and this timer all switch on. And what that does is it takes the single phase live and neutral and connects them to the motor in the delta configuration. This contactor here also connects these three capacitors down here from the live to the third leg of the motor. After about a second, the timer expires, these two contactors switch off, and this one switches on. And what that does is it disconnects the neutral from the motor and takes it to the star point up here. So at that point, we've got the live going down to the motor, connected to one of the, the three windings in star, and then it's generating the other two phases across the other two windings with the neutral at the star point. We've then got these three capacitors down here, which are connected across the three phases going out of the panel, and they're just there to balance out the voltage. So as it is, if you don't have these capacitors, you do get the three phase, but you end up with sort of 360, 380, 420 volts, and that's not particularly well balanced. Whereas a couple of capacitors, say from phase one to phase two, phase two to phase three, um, they just bring the voltage closer together across the three phases um, and it, that reduces the incoming current which makes the whole system a little bit more efficient. If you want more information on rotary converter design and how the electrical system works in detail, I'll put some links in the video description to some other useful videos. Right, let's see if it works! joining me again here in the workshop. If you're new here then please hit that subscribe button and if you really want to help this channel then please consider sharing this video, social media etc and that will really help the channel. Cheers, see you next time.